Okie dokie, and then let's go do some open books. So I'm going to start on my left side. And I'm going to start um, in position number two. You can start in position one with both knees up. Whatever feels better for you and your own body. And let's just do 10 open books. Whoa, pop, pop, pop. I haven't done any open books in a long, like, good, it's been like 10 days at least. Yikes. So lots of pops in there. Let's do two more. And then we'll go take it to the other side. Let's go for 10. Let's do five more. Uh, but then I want you to take those knees back out again and with your hands reaching forward, I want you to bring your right hand, you're going to bend the elbow and try to reach to your shoulder here and then press the elbow down into the floor. So let me just turn so you can see me better. Um, this way, I'm going to just reach this hand back towards my shoulder blade. And then I'm going to press down using the back of my elbow, tricep area. And that's going to give me a little bit more of a shoulder stretch here. So try that. And then try the other side. <clears throat> you should kind of feel that in the tricep area. You might even feel it in your rib cage, in your armpit. You can do both hands at the same time. And then we'll come out of that. So we're going to just bring the right arm up. And you can just rest your forehead on the back of your hand or your chin on the back of your hand. And then what you're going to do now is you're just going to lift and lower the right arm. We're going to do 10 lifts here. So ready? Here we go. Lift. One. And down. Lift. Two. And down. Lift. Three. And down, lift, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's do the other side. 
And having that forehead on the back of the hand is probably the best position for your, your head and your neck to elongate the back of the, the neck. All right, and I've got my thumb pointed up to the sky, and you're just going to lift. Ready? Here we go. Lift. And lower. Two. Lift. Three. Lift. Four. Lift. Five. Lift. Six. Lift. Seven. And ten. And relax. How is that? Those little shoulder exercises are not so easy. If you weren't lifting that high off the floor, don't worry. Um, you're fighting against some different obstacles in that exercise. Um, but just try and lift as, as high as you can. Let's do another ten um, on the right arm. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is probably one of the top ten exercises that everybody needs to do. Help with posture and reversing. All that sitting we do. So lift that other side. Let's go. Five more. All right. Good, 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 good. Okay. So what you're going to do, we're going to work. Uh, those deep neck flexors here. So what I want you to do is you just elongate your body and just lengthen the back of the head. And what you're doing, um, we did this in the last class we had together. You're going to make a double chin and at the same time you're going to press your shoulder blades and the backs of your arms down into the floor as you make the double chin. And we're just going to start with a couple of those to get the neck flexors um, engaging. All right, so just think of this as like the abdominals for the neck. Um, super important for neck health and having a good strong neck. All right, so let's just make a double chin and then press the arms and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So you're just trying to elongate the back of the head, make a double chin, pulling that chin down, and your head stays on the floor right now, okay? So let's do that again. So let's just chin tuck, press, and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Now it's kind of hard to talk and do that. So I'm going to do a couple more. You go ahead and do a couple more too and on your own, and I'm just not going to talk through it because I feel like I'm going to cough and stuff. So. <laughs> so here we go. Let's do a couple more. And relax. And tuck. And relax. Now we're going to do a few more and we're going to add a head lift if you want to. If you want to stick with the one we just did, stick with the one we just did. If you want to try the lift, then it looks like this. You're just going to um, make that double chin again. You're pressing those arms down into the floor and then you're going to lift your head up and hold your head up there for about five seconds and then come down. All right, so try a few of those with me. So make a double chin, press, and lift, and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Okay, move those shoulders away from your ears. Give your neck, your head, like a little bobble, bobble, move. 
loosen up tension and then let's repeat that again so tuck that chin elongate and lift and don't forget to press your backs of your arms and shoulder blades into the floor there's a reason for that um, cueing it helps us disassociate um, and use the the right muscle that we're trying to work on here so it's important that you do that press let's do a couple more so again tuck the chin press the shoulders lift hold let's do two more Bobble, bobble, and last one. You, all right. I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to gain more mobility and strength to feel better in your body, I offer a free club membership where you can enroll to receive my weekly excerpts and more. Just click on the link in the description and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via text, email, or Instagram. Thanks for watching, and let's keep getting stronger and more mobile to live longer.